Hey everybody, and welcome to part 32 of this Platinum Let's Play. On the last episode, we went through Route 222 to the west, and um, went through, and we got to, sorry, uh, Sunny Shore City. Uh, on this episode, I think we'll be taking on the gym. Uh, this is an electric type gym, so be wary. Also, the levels have ve really climbed uh, in the past two gyms, so be very careful. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the gym is uh, the gym puzzle. I think is relatively unchanged. Can you make it to the gym later? You sure now? Yes, I'm sure. Anyway, so school kid Tierra has a Pachirisu level 47. Just break, break. Wow, I hate you. Ah. <sighs> Come on! Hit through! Oh, yeah, why am I not surprised? I'm not being taken down by a Pachirisu. Come on, just kill it. Thank you. Are you serious? Come on! Seriously. Alright, we're not... What? Right, fine. Hopefully Roadhouse will outspeed. Roadhouse could do with some experience, really. Good. No static, no nothing. That might have all absorb, I don't know. The gear's been round and round, I've been down and out. That's true. Okay, so I think we'll lead with spaghetti. So we'll be going over here. So we can get that one up. And then we'll head across here. Fight this school kid. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. We are learning from the best here, mate. Okay, so Skull Kid Forest has a Magneton, level 47. Obviously know what this thing's weak to. Definitely ground. Does not have Levitate. Although it'd be f so overpowered if it did. Um. But it might have Magnet Rise, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, make to ground, fighting, fire, the usual stuff. But also has 13 resistances. Out of the, f out of the 14 types it's, weak, um, it's not weak to, um, there's, like, there's 17 types in the game, um, it's weak to 3, um, is resistant to 13, and is um, regularly affected by 1. Which is water. So yeah, steel electric is one of the best types around, and it's a unique type to this little guy here. Okay, so guitarist, I think that was Jeremy, has a Magnemite level 44. You'll be seeing plenty of these things, even though we've just seen a ton of them in the Candlelave gym, but whatever. Okay, so yeah. We also have a Luxio. Level 44. Nice. I like that quick claw already. Okay, so take that thing out and then finish with a third Luxio. Well, second Luxio, sorry. Level 44. And Quick Claw activates again. Boom. So, yeah, ground type moves are generally the best bet in here. I don't think there's a single levitating electric type in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I completely screwed over the recording there. Um, anyway, yeah, just finishing off the Luxio. Um, the only levitating ground type there is is in 5th gen, so don't even need to worry about it. 
Um, I think I'm going to take up this guy on, this girl on, sorry, with uh, Roadhouse because I know exactly what this girl has. She just has a ton of Pikachu. Look at the way I'm dressed. Can't you see that I'm hardcore? Perhaps. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, so Poke Kid Megan has a Pikachu, level 42. Hit it with a return. Yep. Yeah. 30% chance my ass obviously hits like probably 90% chance. Uh, whatever, I can't be dealing with this, so I'm just going to switch to Scooby-Doo. He works well in all situations, so... Okay, so, take that stupid Pikachu out. And a third Pikachu. Level 42. Guess what our last Pokemon is? I wonder if you can guess. You guessed it, a Pikachu. Why does she need so many? Be a fan of Pikachu, but just have one. It's annoying having more than one because then you just have to keep taking them out. It's fine if you had like Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. An evolution line's fine. I will laugh at you because you're pathetically weak and you're dressed stupidly. Uh, well, actually, I don't really want to leave with Great House anyway. Um, let's go to Spaghetti. Spaghetti's got to be quite careful with the gym leader, though. For reasons you'll find out before too long. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes dedication to improve your math skills. That's true, it does. Well done. Nice advice. Anyway, so guitarist Lonnie has a Raichu, level 47. How weak. Yes. Uh, three of the four Pokemon of the gym leaders has a move that's super effective against Tangro, so... Yeah, that's annoying. But luckily, the Pokemon he leads with isn't uh, doesn't have a move that's super effective against me, so I use that as a Pokemon I can just set up against. Well, not set up, but you know. Damn it! Okay, so be quite careful with this girl because she is quite powerful. Um, but I think I'll be fine with Spaghetti. She is an ace trainer after all. I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here since I want to. Because I want to feel the rush. Anyway, yeah, so Ace Trainer Destiny has an Electabuzz, level 47. Thunderbolt. Let's see how much this does. Whoa! That did more than I thought it would. Ouch. Regardless, let's just take it out. Easily be dying to a ground type move. What? What is this? Alright, fine. Thunderbolt me, I don't care. Well, actually, I do care if you crit me. It's fine. Hit it with payback to save some PP. Grow to level 45. And a Raichu. Uh, let's go to Scooby Doo. This Raichu is level 48, so be very careful. It has Dig, are you serious? Uh, can I live a Dig? Uh, I can't see why not. It's only a Raichu. 
Okay, yeah, okay. I thought I could survive one. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to take it out though. Okay, I'm going to switch just because I know he's going to dig again. Let's go into Ricky. Since he can do nothing against um, my Ricky. Take it down. Right. Your power is thrilling. I'm thrilling down to the something. I missed that. Okay, so head over here. We're the guitarist. Uh, I think I'm going to heal. Just quickly. We'll not go to the Pokemon Center, but just heal. Basically Gladiator and Scooby-Doo. So let's heal Gladiator, Gladiator up to full, and then up to up to Scooby Doo, heal him up to full. Okay, so I'm just going to switch uh, Gladiator up to the front. Okay, Spark. This is what our gym leader did to the gym out of boredom. Well, I've already heard this story. Anyway, so guitarist Preston has a Luxio, level 45. So deal with Brick Break. Hopefully take it down nice and quickly. Yep, nice. And another Luxio. Level 45. Such diversity. Ugh. Come on, die. Thank you. We've got one more trainer left and then it's the gym leader. Spark. What are you, a robot or something? Oops. Okay. Just this ace trainer, and then we'll be heading back to the gym leader. Well, I'm surprised you've come this far, but you'll have to turn back. There isn't any chance you could ever beat me. Oh, ego trip much. Okay, whatever. So ace trainer Zachary has an Electabuzz, level 47. I'm just going to use Psycho Cut, because I don't think it makes contact. Oh, that did more than I thought it would. How are you hitting twice in a row with that? Oh, okay. I'm not too bothered. My defense stat isn't, pretty, isn't that good anyway. Okay, so this guy also has a Magneton. Level 48. So yeah, be very careful with the two ace trainers in here. Using level 47 and 48. Right. What makes your Pokemon so special? Well, I've trained them up for quite a while, so. Okay, so let's heal everyone up, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother healing Roadhouse, because if I have to use him in the fight, it's going to be quite worrying. I shouldn't have to go down that far. Okay, so let's switch Spaghetti up to the front, because he's going to be my main man for the first Pokemon that's going to be heading my way. So you're going to be wanting to press that once, and then head back around here, and we'll get Volkner. Alright, Challenger. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me, but they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. So I, I'm Volkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top leader, gym leader in Sinnoh, but 
Anyway, I, better, I guess we better get this done. I hope the other trainer will make me remember how fun it is to battle. Well, you're depressing, aren't you? Okay, so this is the 8th gym leader in the game. The Electro-type Master, Volkner. In Platinum, he leads with a Jolteon. Level 46, Electric-type, with the ability Volt Absorb. With the moves Charge Beam, Thunder Wave, Iron Tail, and Quick Attack. In Diamond and Pearl, he leads with a Raiju. Level 46, Electric-type, with the ability Static. With the moves Charge Beam, Brick Break, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave. But yeah, this Jolteon's not particularly powerful. Just hit it with a physical move. But it's very fast. Um, has quite high special attack, and that Charge Beam is going to be boosting it. However, Charge Beam is the only special attack it has, so... Keep that in mind as well. Charge Beam has a 70% chance of raising the special attack by one stage. It's 50 power, has 90 accuracy, so keep that in mind. Anyway, so that's Jolteon. And next we're going for Raichu. Uh, as much as I'd like to take that down with Thingy, I don't think I will. With Spaghetti, I mean. Uh, let's go with Gladiator. Okay, so his second Pokemon in Platinum is Raichu, level 46, electric type with the ability uh, Static. With the moves Charge Beam, as you're seeing, Signal Beam, Focus Blast, and Quick Attack. In Diamond and Pearl, his second Pokemon is Octillery, level 47, Water type with the ability Sniper. With the moves Charge Beam, Octazooka, Aurora Beam, and Bullet Seed. Um, arguably the the uh, Octillery is worse because it's very strong. Um, but do be careful with Focus Blast. If you're using a Tangrowth with Earthquake, be very careful of Signal Beam. But it's not particularly powerful. Just, you know, take down you would any other Raichu. Okay, so he's sending out the star of his show now. Um, I'm not too sure why. I'm not understanding why at all, actually. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, I think I'm going to stay in. Okay, so this is the star of the show, Electivire, level 50. Electric type with the ability Motor Drive, so do not hit it with electric type moves. That includes Thunder Wave, or else it will raise its speed. With the moves Thunder Punch, as you're seeing, ouch, Fire Punch, Giga Impact, and Quick Attack. Quick Attack is obviously coming my way. Um, I don't think it's worth healing. It's not worth it. Okay, so the star of this show in uh, Diamond and Pearl is uh, Luxray. Um, just switch to Ricky quickly. Uh, level 49, um, Electric type with the ability Rivalry. With the moves Charge Beam, Thunder Wave, Thunder Fang, and Crunch. Both have a Citrus Berry. Ah, oh, really? Can that poison take it out? Oh no, Citrus Berry, of course. Okay. Dust Noir will feel will, uh, will work out quite well against the Selective Eye. He's gonna full restore. So obvious. I don't care. I'm just gonna sl sludge bomb again. I'm faster, so doesn't matter. Well done, Ricky, for taking the Thunder Punch from that thing, though. It's very powerful. Anyway, so yeah, that's Electivire. Okay, so next we're going for for the old Star of the Show. I think we'll go for Scooby Doom. Carefully, because this thing's going to be powerful, but... We'll see how much we can do. So this is Luxray, level 48, electric type, with the ability Rivalry. With the moves Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, and Crunch. In Diamond and Pearl, his third Pokemon is Ambipom, level 47, normal type, with the ability Technician. With the moves Shock Wave, Nasty Plot, Agility, and Baton Pass. Be extremely careful with that thing. If it manages to use Nasty Plot and Agility and then pass it, it is going to be so powerful. It, 
like, for example, the Raichu or the Optillery are going to be extremely powerful and difficult to take out. Particularly the Octillery. It is so powerful with a nasty plot and an agility under its belt. So make sure you kill that thing with a normal type move as quickly as you possibly can. Also, because it has Technician, Shockwave gets an extra 50% uh, power boost, so it becomes a 90 power move. And with a nasty plot, it's quite powerful, so be very careful. You've got me beat. Your desire and the noble way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. Hehehe, ha ha ha, that was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your 8th gym badge, you've earned this. So we get the beacon badge from Volkner. That beacon badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall, even when you're not in a battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you without fail. I want you to take this too. This is TM57, which contains Charge Beam. What's inside that TM57 is the move Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's electrifying. So yeah, it's 50 power, 90 accuracy, but has a 70% um, chance of raising your special attack. And a lot of Pokemon can learn it. Uh, it's a very good move. It's extremely good for a Pokemon like Alakazam, which could do with a bit of electric type coverage. Um, however, Calm Mind is generally better for it. Um, so let me just heal, and then we'll find. We'll just head to the beach quickly afterwards, and then I think we'll end the episode. Okay. So let's head inside. But yeah, that was the final gym battle. It is quite tough though, um, especially that Electivire. And um, I'm glad I didn't have to use Roadhouse or Spaghetti much. I'm just going to switch Spaghetti, uh, not Spaghetti, Roadhouse up to the front. Just because he's the lowest level now, he needs to get up a little bit. Okay, so you want to be heading to the beach next. Um, Where we will find. Whoop, hello. Oh, it's you. Hey, Sean. What the? You went and got all eight gym badges of Sinnoh. Are you? That's wicked, I envy you. But don't think you've won. Because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You watch me. Before I was dreaming, I just wanted to be like my dad. Now things are different. I thought about what being a trainer involves. I thought about what Pokemon are. We're going to get tougher one step at a time. I'm not going to challenge you to a battle now. I hate to say it, but I know that you're tougher than me. But not a whole lot tougher, just a little. Our difference is about a yard? Nah, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I will catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry to the Pokemon se League... Why did I say seed? <laughs> I'll leave you in my wake. What, like your master? Crash awake. Aha, I see what I did there. Was that your friend? Seeing how you two got along made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share everything, every, any, sorry, anything and everything with. A person you can compete with without fighting. Um, it made me feel sort of warm seeing you two. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much, but this is the last hidden move we need. Waterfall. That hidden machine. It contains waterfall. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon League. Um, I, I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. I assume she misses her Ampharos. <laughs> That's uh, Jasmine, she's a Johto gym leader. Of the 6th gym leader? Yes, 6th gym leader. Of the 6th gym, why did I say of the 6th gym leader? That's so stupid. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much wrapping up this episode. Um, on the next episode, I think we'll be heading to the Pokemon League. Although actually, I do need to get myself an HM slave. Basically just be barrel and teach him that waterfall. Luckily there's a Pokemon Center before Rick Victory Road. Um, however, I actually do need waterfall in there as well. That'd be annoying. Um, but I'll just train someone else extra. Uh, who do I want to leave behind? I think I'll leave Spaghetti behind because he's doing quite well at the moment. Right, so let's teach that waterfall. 
whoops, too far. Okay, so yeah. But yeah, waterfall's a fantastic move. Um, uh, it's 80 power physical, so it's great for a Pokemon like Gyarados, or uh, I can't think of another physical water type off the top of my head, but um, it's a great move. Um, it's a good trade off for Aqua Tail that Gyarados would have because it basically loses 10% power but gains 10% um, accuracy, so it's quite good. Um, but yeah, I think I will be heading to Route 223, I think it is. I think it's 223. Um, and heading up the waterfall to Victory Road on the next episode. So until then, see you next time, guys.